Diesel News. Liberty City remains under siege as another body was found, this time at the Liberty Ferry Terminal in Alderney City. A decapitated jogger who was getting fit in the wrong place at the wrong time. Detective John Atkinson has been working the case. Oh, thank God he did it again. I was beginning to lose my media profile. We'll be making an arrest soon. How's my hair look? Hey there, pal. Hey. Hey. Hey, what are you doing out here so late? What's it to you? Nothing. Just trying to make conversation. Just trying to keep the loneliness at bay. You know. Whatever you say. Hey, uh, you're not from around here, are you? No. I'm from Florida. <laughs> you're funny. You're a real joker. I knew a joker once. Lovely guy. Came to a rather unfortunate end, though. But I suppose we all do. In the end. Okay. Wait, 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 mister. Um, do you ever wonder, do you ever wonder if animals, if they masturbate? Okay, listen, friend, you're really creeping me out. No, it's a silly question. I know, silly question. It's just I was wondering because maybe that's what makes us different uh, from the animals. I mean, masturbating. Because it turns out we don't have souls and animals use tools and all that kind of thing. So maybe it's the masturbating. Maybe that's God's real gift to us. Okay, I'd really like to get back to planet Earth, so maybe I'll see no, you No, wait, wait a minute, mister. I'm sorry. I'm strange. I'm a weird guy. I know. <laughs> Hey, hey, do you have a car? Can you get one? Why? Because I have this rather heavy bag, and I really need a lift. I can pay you. <sighs> okay, okay. Thanks. I'm Eddie, by the way. Eddie Lowe. Yes, <laughs> fine. Come on. Hey, friend. This, this bag is awful heavy. You mind taking us down to the docks? You got the ship to catch. You going somewhere? I'm not going anywhere. My friends are, though. They're heading off. <laughs> That's a funny joke. Joke? Joke? Eddie never jokes. Eddie needs to be taken seriously. They laughed at him once, but you can't laugh without a tongue. You can't point if you haven't got fingers, can you? That's what Daddy told me late at night in my room. Easy there, buddy. We're friends, aren't we? We can talk to one another, share things. Spill your guts. Ew. I don't like doing that. It's smelly. I'm kidding. Isn't the world strange and nasty? I mean, a girl looks at you, but it turns out she doesn't love you at all. It turns out she's a whore. You're kind of a strange guy, Eddie. Have you ever considered psychotherapy? You've got issues. My only issue is I don't accept the world's bullshit. Wait here for me, friend. Special friend. I'm just dropping the kids off. Glad I got rid of that. Wouldn't want to get caught with it. People could be so narrow-minded. Can, can you take me to Westminster? Hurry up! I like Westminster. Lots of nice boys there. It's one of my hunting grounds. Never gets you off, friend. Yeah, I like boys. I like girls, too. Both are fun in different ways. The same ways as well. We were all the same under those layers of hair and skin and fat. Everyone's got the same rotten livers and black hearts underneath it all. Sure. You should visit planet Earth sometime. Where are you from, pal of mine? What's your accent? Are you from uh, East Europe? Romania? Bulgaria? Balkans. Hey, you're a smart guy. Eddie's smart. Eddie's real smart. 
They always told him that. Eddie, you're smart. Why don't you play with the other kids? Don't touch him like that, Eddie. Stop it, Eddie. Uh, stop it. Yeah, stop it, Eddie, please. <laughs> Your accent's funny. You know that you can hear accents when people scream? I can tell what borough people are from just by hearing them scream. I've heard enough Alderney accents tonight. Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> I want to hear some nice, rounded, Algonquin voices. Please stop! <laughs> Please stop it! D do you see that? You're making me a little uncomfortable, Eddie. I hope you're joking. I'm sorry, pal. Of course I'm joking. Do you think that I'm weird? Please. I'm just a no-bullshit kind of guy. So, so, what's your name? And what do you do? Huh? Those are normal questions. Nico Bellic. And I do what I can to survive. To get by. That's cryptic. Things must be difficult for you. Do you hurt other people, Nico? If they get in my way. I wouldn't want to get in your way, Nico. I wouldn't want you to get in mine either. Oh, we're good friends now, uh huh? Special friends. Here we are. Eddie's off to hunt for a nice boy. Thank you, Nico. Thank you, friend. I'll see you later, man-eater. Meanwhile, a corpse has been found by the river in North Algonquin. And like a couple of other recent murder victims, the corpse has been beheaded and desecrated, prompting some cops to think the unthinkable. We may have a serial killer on the loose in Liberty City for the first time in years. Although detectives appeal for calm and said nothing is clear yet, they are requesting joggers and late-night walkers to be especially careful. We will stay with the story and try to get people really hysterical. This is Weasel News. This is Weasel News. Weasel News. Another decapitated and mutilated body turned up last night, this time of a 32-year-old jogger in Alderney. Police confirm we have a serial killer on the loose in the city. He still doesn't have a nickname, although police and the news media are working together to try a few out for size. The Keep Fit Killer and the Headhunter currently top the bill. We will keep you posted on this nightmare in our city. More news on the serial killer. The city is in panic as the serial killer that has been tormenting the metropolitan area seems to have struck again. This time a man out walking late at night in Dukes had his limbs stolen, but his head left on, making the ongoing task of giving this killer a nickname even harder. Citizens say they've had enough. I blame the lack of morals in this town. The strip clubs, the drug dealers, the whole fucking place overcharges. Jesus, it's getting to where you can't live in Liberty City. Chief Detective John Atkinson was available for comment. Eric House, Weasel News. An update on the serial killer terrorizing the city. Police seem to think he struck again. The reason? A body turned up with a note attached to the now headless neck saying, I've struck again. Police aren't drawing any conclusions and are still looking for major your clues. Hey there, pal. Hey. Hey. Nico, the Belkin sociopath. Eddie Lowe, the animal masturbator. <laughs> you and your wicked sense of humor. You're quite naughty. Quite, quite naughty. Whatever. Quite naughty. Do you like to get spanked? That? Excuse me? <laughs> no, nothing silly. I'm just being silly. Silly little Billy, that's me. <laughs> I, I like it, though. I like to get spanked. Fuck off. You're creeping me out. No, I don't want to make you angry, Nico. I don't want to be creepy. It's just my way. Well, your way is not cool. Not cool? You say Eddie's not cool? I don't fit in with the in crowd? Well, Mrs. Eddie's taken your star son, your prized little quarterback, and fucked him in the ass, and then tied him up, strangled him into knots. And your daughter? Your pretty little daughter, Mrs. Abrahams? Eddie's ripped out her intestines just to see if he could feel anything. And you know what? He couldn't. Yeah, he couldn't. You should get laid or something. Oh, I just did. A little jogger down by the water. But you know what, handsome? I got a hunger tonight that can't be sated! Come here! Huh. Weasel News. The unnamed 
serial killer who has plagued Liberty City for months and baffled the police department's nickname division has been found dead, himself seemingly the victim of a murder. The man who was found with several journals confessing to his crimes appears to have targeted the wrong victim and been killed in a fight. The killer's name was Eddie Lowe. Police are searching his apartment in a quiet Duke suburb for more information. Residents were angry. It's always the same thing when they catch a mass murderer. He was real quiet, they say. I say we start shooting quiet people and we won't have this problem. Loners too. And my hands is stepdad. <laughs> wow. Eric House, Weasel News.